Observing the 2D concept art and planning before I jump into sculpting helps me to decrease the amount of time trying to figure things out while actually sculpting. The ability to think like a designer is a game changer. It prepares you for the task before starting it, because we should work smarter, not harder. Right? There is a great quote from Abraham Lincoln that says, If I was given six hours to cut down a tree, I would spend the first four sharpening the axe. So it saves a lot of time when we study the art before actually starting sculpting. One of the most important aspects of translating a 2D character concept to a 3D character is being able to think like a designer. But how? Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you 7 important concepts of character design that I keep in mind when I wanna start sculpting from a 2D concept, which really helps me to improve my characters. So let me show you. Guys, actually before starting uh, sculpting and 3D modeling in Blender and ZBrush, you can import your concept into Photoshop or even Procreate and try to think about different parts of the character as simple shapes. Tip number one pose, gesture, and line of action. What is line of action? It's a line that goes through the whole body and follows its gesture. Actually, how a character stands and what is the gesture and pose is one way to tell more about his personality through our sculpts. And just by changing the way they stand, we can make them frightened, strong, or lazy, or whatever. And actually by thinking about line of action in our characters, we can pose them better later. Tip number two, silhouette. A silhouette is like a shadow that shows the outline of the character without any details. If you are able to recognize a character from any distance, it means that the character has a very nice and unique silhouette. Having a nice silhouette means that you should have the ability to look at any character and figure out who the character is without seeing any details. If you want to check out your character's silhouette, actually you can change the material to a flat shader. And you know we can say that a good silhouette is a sign of strong, appealing and memorable character designs. As you see these characters are popular and familiar to you because they all have a nice silhouette and they are memorable. Tip number three, shape language. Uh, usually successful character design includes simple shapes. Every shape has its own meaning and we can get a lot of information from them, like the personality. As you see in this example, we can say that the more round the shapes are, the more they seem friendly, kind and soft. Also in this example, we can see that the more angular and hard the shapes are, the more they seem dangerous or aggressive. Or Devil. Also in this example, we can see round edges and he's so friendly. Of course, in some characters, we can see a mix of both shapes. You know, it's always better to break out our 2D concept into simple shapes by drawing over the major forms in order to block out the character in 3D. It definitely makes it easier to work with. And guys, when you're sculpting your characters in 3D, try to rotate around the part you're working on and make sure the shape language is consistent all the way around and of course no parallel lines and do this for every piece of your character uh, when you're blocking out the whole character. Tip number four, large, medium, small. Actually in stylized characters concepts we usually see that the 2D artists exaggerate the size and the proportions of the body or face parts which can help to have a specific personality in that character. For sculpting first start with large shapes and then at medium shapes and finally at small details. For example, this character has a very large torso while the legs are quite small, the hand and the gloves or the arms are medium. So we can say that emphasizing some features of physical appearance and making a great contrast between the shapes can draw the viewer's attention to some parts more than others and it helps to build the personality of the character. For example, it can make them stronger. In this example, we can see that the hands and the feet are so large compared to the normal ones and the face is a small shape compared to others. And in this example we would see a large torso and a medium face and small hands and feet. Tip number five, thick to thin 
or tapered shapes. A tapered shape is actually a simple form with one wide side and one narrow side. Using tapered shapes in character designs usually makes them more interesting and attracts attention. In this character you see the tapered shapes everywhere without any pattern lines. You would see these tapered shapes in all of these examples in every piece of the body or the face. Actually it creates a more dynamic and interesting look. Even when you look at some anatomy references or for example this Superman here that we can see the muscles, we can see the tapered shapes and also we got a curve to straight and a straight to curve on all sides and because we see unsymmetrical shapes and forms here the design looks much more interesting. Tip number six, straight vs curves or simple side vs complex side and no parallel lines. When we are studying appealing character designs, we'll notice that usually there is a contrast between simple sides and complex sides. Or we can say that we'll see a series of curves, details and information on one side more than the other side. And the other side has straight lines and fewer details. And when a character has this contrast in its design, we would see nice oral shapes together. Actually, we can have one side which is more details and complex that draws attention of the viewer and one side that is more simple. And remember, artists don't usually use parallel lines in their designs because it makes the design boring. Unless it's sort of the design like the hard surface design. Also in this character we can see this is the simple side and this, actually the face, is more complex side because it has more detail and we can see the combination of using curves and straight lines. Also in this character we can see simple side and this side has more details. Even in the mouse we can see that. And this example is kind of a great example for straight versus curves. There is a straight, straight, straight line and then curve, straight, straight. Tip number seven, line breaks and face proportions. When looking at the 2D concept, we should be able to export important information about the proportion and the line breaks in order to sculpt closer to the 2D concept. Actually, we should pay attention to the distance between the forehead to eyes and eyes to nose, nose to mouth, mouth to the chin. Also, we need to see where the line breaks are in the face. So, if you mark these specific areas in each character and get the right information from the concept, later we can follow these guides and sculpt the character in 3D easier. There are some places in stylized characters where the lines change their direction, which is line breaks. So when you're sculpting from a 2D concept and you want to make it 3D, try to make these lines break noticeable from all angles. And as you rotate your character in 3D space, you should be able to see all of them. Another important point is that if you see how many heads of your character's head fit into its height, this will help us to make the appropriate proportions for our 3D character. Now let me show you an example. This is just a great example of all of these concepts working together. Actually, this character includes most of the principles I talked about. The silhouette is nice. We see a great use of straight and simple side versus curved and complex sides. Uh, we see these tapered shapes all over the legs. There are no parallel lines. Also, we can see straight lines, curved lines on the other side. For example, this is the complex side and this is the simple side. And the shape of the torso is tapered and we can say thick to thin. And also the shapes of the legs are tapered shape. And it's a great example. And guys, if you know these principles, you can always get useful information from a 2D concept art just by observing the character design and getting ready for sculpting it. Just always think about all these things when you observe a character design and think about how we can apply them to 3D. And guys, if you learn how to read these forms and combine these principles and design tips and use them while creating your 3D characters, you would see an interesting result.